economic stability, and personal safety were recurring themes during Trump's presidency. I do see him, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a what's up and thank you for doing what you did. It's 50-50, honestly. Uh, people are going to have some love and hate. Some people do love him, but I still to prefer him. That's better than Joe Biden. It was better under Donald Trump. Um, I can tell you that the Bronx has been through many changes. and Everything was getting back on track. And then, you know, everything is like falling apart again. Senior citizen cannot walk in the street. Yeah. Our children have been killed. Uh, groceries. When you go to a grocery store, you, you can't even buy anything anymore. Everybody needs help. People need housing. Instead of giving migrants and everybody that's coming from other countries help, we here, we Americans, give us some help. El dinero, mayor marca los inmigrantes. They're giving all the money to the immigrants. No, no está mal, pero que. It's not that, it's not, I'm not against that. No, lo que pasa es que están cortando lo nuestro acá. The problem is they're cutting our stuff. Maybe we did something, the, we're beyond the point of no turn when it's, everybody's on the Trump train. I'm a Democrat. Mm -hmm. All my life I've been a Democrat. But Democrats have, have, have used us. Mm -hmm. and abuse us and they think that, that, that they own us mm -hmm. and Donald Trump is giving us the opportunity black people and Hispanic people are, are very happy about him coming coming here and they want to see the options and they want to put pressure on Democrats to step their game up and maybe Republicans have an opportunity here they cannot let go my advice to Trump just to be himself to be um, relatable don't change don't switch up because they're trying to take you down you're, you're good out as a president you know you're, you was in the white house a lot of people wasn't a lot of people want your spot come to the park and you know keep it real with the people just let us know exactly what you're gonna do for everyone not just the hispanic community not just the black and the minority communities but for america because when america succeeds we all succeed residents noted falling food prices reduced crime rates and improved living conditions. They emphasized the significance of a strong economy and law and order. Criticisms of the Democratic Party were prominent, with many feeling alienated and exploited. There was conservative criticism mixed with empathy towards Democratic leadership and policies, particularly on immigration and resource allocation. Concerns were voiced about resources being diverted to immigrants at the expense of U.S. citizens advocating for a prioritization of national interests and government support for citizens. Residents appreciated Trump's direct and empathetic leadership style, valuing strong, decisive leadership that prioritized ordinary citizens' needs. The shift of traditionally Democratic voters to the Republican Party indicated a significant political realignment. This shift reflected conservative narratives aiming to win over disillusioned voters feeling abandoned by traditional political representatives. Collective anxieties about economic difficulties and safety aligned with conservative values of economic freedom and effective law enforcement. Residents' appreciation of Trump's authenticity highlighted a broad existential need for genuine leadership in a socio-political atmosphere where they felt alienated by current political representatives. The movement of support from the Democratic Party to the Republican Party indicated a community reassessing its political identity and seeking a sense of belonging. This quest for representation required a leader who truly addressed the community's needs. Opinions revealed a desire for empowerment and options in the political process, with residents wanting active participation in governance rather than being passive recipients of top-down policies seeking recognition and meaningful involvement. 